Armenia may supply Hamas with weapons via Iran. Armenia may have supplied a large number of weapons to Iran, which in turn ended up in the hands of Hamas and other terrorist organizations, writes Sarah Miller in its article for EU Reporter. The author reminded that, strangely, the Armenian military has somehow misplaced some 17,000 assault rifles. According to Vahi Ghazarian, Armenian Minister of Internal Affairs, this quantity of assault weapons is unaccounted for from the armories. It is difficult to comprehend this number, 17,000. Just imagine, this is enough weapons to arm three and a half infantry brigades. The whole Armenian military is 65,000 strong, so the missing weapons would be enough for a quarter of its personnel. If they are properly packed, it will be over 1,400 pretty large and heavy boxes, which would take more than 10 military trucks to move, says the article. She noted that Gazarian himself noted that the weapons went missing after the Second Karabakh War. So they were not lost during the war or captured by Azerbaijani troops. The assault rifles went missing after the conflict. Where are these weapons now? They definitely did not leave Armenia through Turkish, Georgian or Azerbaijani borders. There is only one neighboring country which is very interested in purchasing weaponry anywhere on the planet, Iran. As the backbone supporter of various terrorist organizations, Tehran regularly supplies them with light and heavy armament. The Russian-produced assault rifles have an added value. They are actually untraceable. Iran produces its own analogues of Kalashnikov, the KLF, or KLS rifles. But they are easily identifiable by slight design differences, overall low quality, manufacture markings, and the fire selector markings on the weapons. Supplying Russian manufactured weapons to Houthis, Hezbollah, or Hamas is preferable. Nobody knows where they came from exactly, as the Russian markings may be found in many places. Armenia, being today an important part of an Iranian-Russian axis, due to Yerevan's eager assistance in circumventing sanctions, is a likely place to get such weapons. Just imagine that missing from the Armenian military stockpiles since 2020, Kalashnikovs might have reached Hamas and may have been used in the October 7 massacre in Israel. Sarah Miller explains.